beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. And if you're new here, my name is Melanie Kate Love. I make videos every single Sunday or Monday, depending on where you are in the world, helping you, you, <laughs> helping you to deal with the energies associated with the week ahead. Now, this week is from August the 5th to the 11th. We're going through three phases of the moon. And we actually have four planets in retrograde and it's eclipse season. There's a lot going on. There was a lot of work that you did in, in July and August is looking completely different. You're literally becoming a whole new person. Remember last week we channeled the song, A Whole New World from Aladdin. You're literally dreaming big and you're reverse engineering exactly what you need to work on for this moon cycle. So we're starting off the week on Monday to Tuesday to the waxing crescent of the moon. Your affirmation for this time is, I'm so happy and grateful now that I have the opportunity to plan for success. I segment my intention into actionable steps and schedule into my calendar. So we kind of really didn't do much of this on Sunday last week because I'm, we, the card that we pulled was more about taking time to rest. So now we really need to get going with this. If you fail to plan, you basically plan to fail. Okay, then we have the first quarter of the moon. This is the action phase. Your affirmation for this time is, I am so happy and grateful now that I feel aligned with my intention, excited for all the delicious goodness to come and have made peace with beer. I take inspired action and am an unstoppable force. So this is from Wednesday to Saturday. Then from Sunday, we have the Gibbous Moon, which is trusting. Your affirmation is, I am so happy and grateful now that all will be revealed in divine time. I surrender to the process and set myself free. All right, they are the faces of the moon. In terms of the astrological influences, as you know, we're in eclipse season. It happened last month, but we're probably really starting to figure out how we're changing our lives. So eclipses is a basically a time where you end things and start things new, completely new. All right, the astrological influences, if you read over here, you can screenshot, you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> All right, Jupiter retrograde is here until August the 11th. It ends this week, oh my God. Jupiter, philosophical and spiritual introspection and reflection in grow, involving growth, happiness, and success with your romantic and intimate relationships. So you're coming to the end of such a stagnant time. Pluto retrograde is here until October the 3rd. Massive transformation can bring up a lot of fears and anxieties around this time. Now you need to have patience and determination to navigate your own personal power, your sacral, no, your, no, not your sacral, your solar plexus, which is your personal power. How do you heal this one? The sun. Um, Saturn retrograde is here until September the 18th. The Lord of Karma. Lessons relate to your thoughts and your words. A difficult time for making important decisions due to negative thoughts and indecision. Now, Neptune retrograde is here until November the 27th. Delusions and deceptions are revealed, which can bring up disappointments. Channel your inspiration and enthusiasm into hard work to manifest your dreams. Right, there's a lot going on. Let's get straight into it. I feel like that was a little quicker introduction today. I'm getting faster. All right, focus for the week. Also, this is the, I forgot to tell you something. This is, if you're new to the fam, this is a Shadowscapes tarot that I'm going to read for you, a focus card and then one card for each day of the week or if more come out, I'll just read them. It's a general reading for all signs of the zodiac. So just take from this what feels best. All right, focus, what do we need to know? August 5th to the 11th, there we go. Are oh, you kidding me? <laughs> the Six of Pentacles, oh my gosh, we've had this so much. Six of Pentacles, it's interesting that it comes up week after week after week after week. It is the balance of the giving and the receiving. It's the interconnectedness, how everything works in cycles in our lives. You may be one time you were the, um, the piper up the top, you know, in his own little world, oblivious to what's going on down below. And that the water that is spurting out is actually watering this beautiful tree that is coming up through through really like 
un, like really yucky soil and it's managing to break free. I want to break free. I want to break free. God knows. God knows I want to break free. I'm falling in love. All right. Let's see. What do we need to know for Monday? So Monday is the crescent moon. There it is. Ah, I love this card. The nine of cups. You have decided a direction in which you want to go, which was the eight of cups. And now you're kind of like made a decision and it feels good. You're vibrating on the frequency of love. You are in alignment, basically. You're in alignment. Everything is working out for you. All right, Tuesday in the crescent moon. I feel like this would be a quicker reading. There it is. <laughs> okay, so now we have the Eight of Cups. Interesting. So we've got the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So you've made a decision of what you want, you're going for it, and nothing is stopping you. You know that everything works in cycles, a bad thing happened, now it's time for the good to come to you. Remember, we have the Saturn, which is Saturn retrograde, which is the Lord of Karma. The lessons relate to your thoughts. So you're trying to keep your thoughts high, doing the things that you love. You made a decision on what needs to shift and now it feels good. You're planning for this. You could actually be planning for the next, not only just the next moon cycle, you know, like this month, you could be planning for the next six months. Maybe there's things that you have to get started now that take a lot longer. I don't know. Depends on what this looks like for you in your life and your family. All right, Wednesday is the first quarter, the action phase. Wow. Oh, I love it. Two massive, uh, massive. <laughs> Two major arcanas. The first one is the strength. You have the strength to persevere and to do what you know feels truly best for you or is in alignment. It's probably gonna scare the bejeebus out of you, but this is what you need to do. And the high priestess is the intuition. It's the wisdom. It's a celebration and working with the phases of the moon. Wow. It's like you have a lot of courage and strength. You made a decision, you're going with it, and you know that, yeah, the life, your life goes in cycles. There's a time to reap and there's a time to sow. And you're really starting to plan, set yourself up for success. That's kind of what I feel. All right, Thursday in the action phase of the moon, what do we need to know? Right. There's two cards and then, well, there's two cards and one pile and one by itself. I'm gonna pull the first one. Ooh, eight of wands, love that card. Speaking what you want into existence. What the heck, the world card again? <laughs> yes, we know we've come to an end of a chapter. And the five of swords is like a sign of like discord. Mm, it's kind of like, I don't wanna be swayed by the darkness, but it's also like, you don't want to get caught up. So it's like, yeah, you've gone to the end, but you don't want to be caught up in like negative thoughts. It's challenges that are coming up and you're not kind of, you kind of got your sword out. So you're not going to be swayed by the darkness because we set the boundaries. Remember we were talking a lot about boundaries in July and now it's in terms of the world, maybe it's like that in terms of the world, like that contrast that all of that hurdle after hurdle, it's not that it's, over because there's always going to be something that's going to come up. But in terms of that, in terms of that world, it's it's done. It's finished. You're now speaking into existence what you want and you're taking action. You're taking inspired action. And when challenges come up, you're like, I can deal with it. I can handle it because I've been through worse and I've made it out the other side. And I'm so happy and grateful for those lessons because they're making me who I am. They've made me who I am today. So using the law of attraction, I feel like, Using the law of, I keep going to the law of attraction. I feel like I need to pull those two to the side. So that I'm going back to the eight of wands. So to me, the eight of wands is speaking into existence what you want. That is also programming your mind for success. Speaking these higher vibrations, reprogramming your subconscious. How does that look like for you? If you need help with that, then you need to check out my training. Oh, okay, uh, again? Okay, Friday we have the Three of Cups, which is teamwork, other people filling your cup up, other people helping you, you taking one aspect and somebody else is working on another. It's segmenting things. 
Maybe this is you planning for a team. Maybe this is you work. This is you working with other people. Remember, we've been saying that for a while. That card has been coming up probably for the last two months. Working with other people in the action phase of the moon. You're not always working by yourself. Yes, you listened. You took your own advice. Not your own advice. The angel's advice. Okay, Saturday. Okay, Saturday we have the moon. Saturday is still in the action phase of the moon. So this could also be, oh, because we still have Jupiter in retrograde. No, Jupiter in retrograde is here until Sunday. But this is coming up before, healing the darkness. It's still like a lot, okay, so this is still a lot of the internal work that you're doing on yourself, setting yourself up for success. And working on yourself isn't selfish. We got the two of wands. This is like, this. it's not really surveying the land. Oh, it kind of is surveying the land, but it's like you also have protection around you. You can't see what's in front of you, you know, but you're trusting the process, even though trusting is Sunday, but I would kind of merge it into this one. Surrender. I feel like this is a lot of surrendering, but this is also, I just feel like it's a lot of courage and that the healing that you have been doing and still will continue because it never stops. There's always going to be something that's going to come up as we go through different transits with either the moon and the astrology and everything like that. It's healing in a different way. But I don't see it as healing. I don't see it as like this time as healing to the degree in which it was because in July and well, from August to July, oh no, not August, April to July, it was really, just could be traumatic for some of you, could have brought up some crisis, a, a crisis for you and your family. But this time it feels different. It's in the action phase of the moon. I feel like you're still healing, but it's in a completely different way. Let's see what Sunday is and then see if I can piece it all back together. Sometimes I need to pull all the cards. So Sunday. Sunday is give us moon, trusting the process as everything is working out. There we go. First card to fall out was the Knight of Swords. Lovely card. <laughs> That's persevering despite what comes, the contrast that comes up. Oh, and then it's matched with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups is surrendering. It's letting go. It's looking at what, what used to serve you. This has come up a lot in the eclipse season. Okay. So it's moving through the contrast. I think it's I think it's working through the pain. It's a different layer of the onion that you're taking off now. You're removing it and you're working through it and you're looking at it and you're saying, thank you. Like, I trust that this is what I need to do. I know that I have to maybe leave a situation in terms of career and relationship. I don't know, maybe you're becoming, you just finished uni or maybe this is the birth of your first, second, third child. Maybe this is the birth of a business. Maybe you're, you're releasing the old chapter. So you're making room for the new. Ooh. Okay. So you're okay. In terms of this week, let me just go back and see if I've got everything right. So the beginning of the week in terms of the crescent moon. So we've made a decision as to what we actually want to manifest in this moon cycle and basically until the end of the year. We know the vision for what we want to happen by the end of the year. Then from Wednesday to Saturday, which is the action phase of the moon, you're harnessing the inner strength and you're harnessing the inner strength of the lion and your intuition. You're speaking what you want into existence and you know that this chapter of who you used to be is over. You're becoming someone new. The world is literally your oyster. And you're actually having to work with other people to help get you to where you want to because you've tried it all by yourself and it wasn't working. And you're like, I need to, I feel like I'm speaking really fast. And you tried it by yourself and however you've been struggling and you're like, I did it my way and it wasn't working the way in which you want. Now you're looking at your healing, the moon, we'll look at that as, as a form of healing. You're looking at the healing in a different light. You've gotten to a different level of healing and you're ready to make peace with whatever the darkness is or the shadow aspects of yourself that came up, you know, from the beginning of this year or most likely from April when all the retrogrades started. And now you are moving through the contrast, the night he is moving through whatever is coming up and you're and whatever is coming up, whatever you're going through, whatever you need to manifest for this month, 
you're looking at what you used to be as things come up and you're like, thank you, I release you and I set myself free. I trust that this is what I need to do. This could be in terms of commiring your house, your car, your brain, you know, your fridge, whatever it is, you, you're basically like commiring everything. The five of cups is trusting that you releasing what doesn't serve you is in alignment with your true authentic self. You know, you don't have to carry things from your old chapter and maybe you thought you got rid of most of it in July, but little things are coming up and you're like, oh, I forgot about that. I need to get rid of this. Or maybe I just feel like it's a different layer of the onion you're dealing with in August, completely different to what went down in July. But you got the world card again. I think this is a really fabulous week. You're knowing that things go in cycles and that when bad things happen, you know that you think of it like when, when you go to bed, the sun, uh, the sun will always rise. The sun will rise from, ca uh, the sun will rise. Cam Kelly Clarkson. When you've lost your lights, the sun will rise. You'll be all right. Um, I've been, I've been, in stuck in a storm before, felt the wind raging at my door, couldn't move, couldn't breathe, couldn't find a way out. Somehow my clouds disappeared. Somehow I made it here. Maybe just so you could hear me say the sun will rise. Although you couldn't see it, so hard to believe it. Sometimes you just need a little faith. There's an answer to your prayer and I swear that day will come, the sun will rise. So it's knowing, it's just having that hope and the, and trust, which is what we're going back to this. The sun will rise, this time shall pass. What you're going through is just temporary. It's going to pass. The reason some of you may be going through, dealing with some pain right now is because you're transitioning. You're becoming a whole new person in this whole new world that you are manifesting and everything is happening for a reason. Surrender. All right, my loves, it's a short episode this week. Oh my goodness. If you join me on the live chat, thank you so much for being here today. And if you caught the replay, I'll be reading all of your comments and I can't wait to hear what came up for you. I hope this is going to give you some clarity and guidance as to what's going to happen for you this week. I feel like August is going to be like a breath of fresh air for you. And all of that stagnation and all of that toxicity that you've been facing and like, healing after healing after healing after healing the light is coming you're going to start to feel it more love thank you so much for joining me here if you're new to the fam please make sure that you subscribe and for any of you that haven't hit that bell make sure you do that's how you get notified now for some reason youtube is giving you a subscribe and the bell to let you know you've notif been notified but just play the game <laughs> have an amazing day find me on instagram at melanie k love and you'll be able to see behind the scenes and more about my beautiful coaching clients that I'm working with, helping them to heal their childhood trauma. If you need help in terms of like three of cups in the action phase of the moon, this is your time to have a look at my free exclusive training where I'm going to teach you how to break the cycle of abuse. How can you heal that childhood trauma? So you get to the stage where you can start manifesting your dream life. Literally, you can't manifest I just sped over it. <laughs> you can't manifest if there are blockages that are holding you back. If you need help with that, I would love to help you. It's just linked in the description or you can catch it on the end card or melaniekatelove.com forward slash free training. Have an amazing day. I'll see you next week. I love you so much.